All right. <laughs> hey guys, hold on. Um, I accidentally put, uh, so I had my mic set up to monitor only, meaning that I was sort of muted for a bit there. But uh, I fixed it, and uh, now we're starting the stream. I'm going to be whispering to the to the mic like this one because. Because um, because I, it, my little sister is freaking um, talking to her classmates on the other room, so I'm going to be freaking setting up the mic like this, I guess. <laughs> and I guess this is going to be an ASMR stream, uh, starring the apartment building that I'll be making. Uh, please enjoy the amount of clickies of the the mouse like this. As well as some keyboard taps, um, like this one. Hold on, can you hear this? I guess you can't hear it. I think my my freaking um, my freaking mic cannot <laughs> has some filters that uh, that prevents me from uh, getting any noise from detecting any noise that I that's not my voice. But uh, I guess we'll start the stream right away. Um, so this is the the freaking apartment building we made um, last stream. So all we're going to do right now is that we're going to be freaking UV mapping it and adding some freaking textures to it. So let's just jump into it, shall we? So um, start off by freaking getting the ground floor set up over here. Try to channel my inner Bob Ross for this live stream. So let's start off by freaking selecting all of the all of the freaking uh, lines, edges of this of this freaking uh, uh, ground floor, and just like that, we need to just select all of these shiny little beautiful things. <laughs> using our mouse. Oh, and by the way, the mouse that I'm using is a Razer Siren Mini. So, if you wanna go buy this mouse for yourself for your own Blender live streams, just go to your local freaking online seller or go to a mall if you are a boomer. So, uh, let's just select all of these vertices. Not this one. Or this one, or why would I select that? Like all of these vertices right here, and uh, we can get these edges selected. People would say this is the most boring part of any blender, any blender freaking um, live stream. But you guys need you guys just need to be a little bit patient. Because what will come out of this little UV map is one of the most one of the most crucial things in every blender sculpt, which is the UV map that will be used to texture the entire thing. So let me press just you and Mark scene. As you can see, there are some red lines. Let me select all of these vertices right here. You mark scene. All right. Let's just select all of the edges here that are necessary. Why is this? This is doesn't make sense. Oh, never mind. It's a Hold on, I need to just hide this cube right here. Press L, link, then press H, remove, like so. Alright, next thing is to select all of these hard edges right here using a 
using your mouse button and uh, I'm just going to select all of these hard edges like so it's a good thing that when you are UV, UV mapping that you imagine your entire mesh like a gif wrap We imagine like gift wrap, you would uh, notice what, what do you gift wrap everyone? What you you're, what you're supposed to do is um, cut every little hard edge of this model so that it can be laid flat into a canvas, as you can see right here in this uh, little thing, just in the on my left side right here. And when it's laid flat, we can. Go ahead and freaking UV, uh, not UV, uh, texture everything in this, um, in this freaking, um, this freaking building. Now I don't really live in an apartment. Um, I've always lived in a, in a house. Um. The first house that I remember living when I was a kid was my was in my grandma's in my grandma's house from my mom's side. But I I've heard from my mom that I used to that we used to live in a actually in an apartment or a condo somewhere in a place in the Philippines called Makati, which is this uh, business district, business district in the national capital region. Actually, I've only been there in a couple of times. The the city, not the apartment building. But I've never really came to visit the old condo that my parents say we first lived at. I think that's sort of wonderful, guys. Like the fact that you might not remember anything from your from your from when you were like a teeny tiny boy until your friends until your family suddenly points that out to you and you're like oh that's sort of an interesting part of my life and with other things I forget to remember as I reach the um reach the Final peak of adulthood. Adulthood. Again. I don't know. I'm, tr I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to. <laughs> trying to empty Bob Ross here, guys. Uh, please don't cringe. I refuse. That you. I, re I refuse that you guys cringe. Right. Just like all these. Turn this to red. Press number three here, just to select all of these tiny little windows. Oh, those wonderful things! <laughs> and um, let us select this, this edge, this edge, this edge. That's this edge. Oh my god. I'm uh, going back to to my living quarters throughout my entire life. I I used to live in my grandma's house from my mom's side, but then we um but then uh, after living there for about 6 years, moved into a freaking apartment, I don't know, apartment a a house in Paranaque. And I didn't know that it was um it was actually the old house of my of my of my grand grandpa when I was when they were uh, when they were just starting out as you know as parents to my dad until my dad pointed it out to me but then I lived there for a couple of years. 
I always remember it every time I I sort of reminisce about that old apartment of mine. There would be Hello Mr. Vanilla. Hey, what's up? You can call me Morgan, you don't need to call me Vanilla. Every time I reminisce of that old uh, house of mine, I'd always uh, remember the fact that there would always be a church bells um, ringing from the front window of, of that house. The front window of my house is actually very big now that I think about it. <clears throat> like it covers the entire front wall of the house, and uh, it's not like any neighbors could see us see what we're doing because um, there's a gate that sort of locks me and my siblings from the rest of the world. You know, when you when you're in the Philippines, especially in a urban city like Paranaque. I think it is best that you live in a sort of gated facility because all of the things all of the all of the all of the outside world is sort of very dangerous, especially in the early two thousands I guess. Don't really have that much um, of things going on. It comes to you know stopping criminals in the Philippines, so you really do need to like sort of guard your kids. I guess it goes for every country, but I don't know. Like the Philippines is sort of hits different, you know. Hmm. Alright. Let us go and collect a few more things here. <coughs> Oof. Apologize, guys. That's just the ASMR burp. I hope you guys are satisfied. Alright, let's, um, let's go to UV Edit here. Oh, let me just... Alt H. Right. Right. Let's uh, let's go. You edit this block now. You select this. Mark seam. Like everything here. Oh wow, that's a loop. All right. Did you complain about that? You mark seam. You, Mark C. So, for the majority of my life, I sort of lived in the house of my. It used to be my. That used to be my grandpa's. Then earlier of last year, we actually moved moved away from the house because the house has pretty much been. It's pretty much been there ever since before I was born. Um, we had a. I had like a little bit of a hole in the in the roof of that old house because it's sort of been made out of this sort of material that's that's been there ever since I don't know like the 1950s. It's not looking good for my house, and uh, it, it's it's beyond renovation because I don't know how do you repair something that's that old that that ancient. I remember digging once around my backyard. Of that house, and I saw this this little miniature of a person, and it's made out of this old metal that 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 feels like it's that's not supposed to exist in this era that of of humanity. So I <laughs> I had <laughs> I didn't know what to do with it, so I think I just tossed it somewhere. Who knew if I if if I kept it, I would have probably gained I don't know millions of dollars. By just donating it to a museum or something. Like uh, Indiana Jones would probably be mad at me. Um, 
What can a kid do? When a kid is that dumb. <laughs> like my like me. Before. I'm not dumb anymore. Don't judge me. <laughs> Alright. Um Okay. So the the final straw of us moving was um was when was when there there are basically just a, a bunch of holes in our in our house from the ceiling. Um, there was one that was coming from the the servants' room, the maid room. So I, I don't know if it's very common in, you, in your guys' uh, living quarters here in the west, but. In, in the Philippines, there's always like a room designated towards uh, people who are towards uh, towards maids. And I don't know if you guys have maids in your country, or at least in the, or at least as common as how it is in the Philippines. But yeah, we always have like a bunch of. Made of, of of rooms designated towards maids, like like if you get an architect to plan a how a house would look like, they always have a they always they will always put a a maid room somewhere just for them to to sleep something. We didn't have maids in our old house, but there was a hole in in that in that uh, in that room of theirs in the, in the maid room. As well as in the laundry room, the living room, even my, my parents' bedroom. Might as well not be living in a freaking house because our ceiling is technically just ass. It's, it's freaking broken. And then there was like a bunch of mushrooms growing from one corner of the parents' bedroom. It's it's uh, it's, it's been disgusting now that I think about it. Uh, not to mention that a bunch of cats have already been living in the what was this? Those are cats have been living in the uh, what's it called the uh, <coughs> in in the garage. If, if we, we we weren't really that uh we didn't really mind the cats at first, uh, but then they started like you know rubbaging through our freaking trash bins like raccoons. And uh, that was, <laughs> they, they, they just uh, pretty much messed up the entire house. And uh, we didn't really want to tolerate it any further, so my parents decided to move, um, move places, finally. So let me just do, unwrap. There we go. And now I am living somewhere else. I don't want to dox myself, so I'm just going to this. I'm just gonna leave things very, um, very anonymous for now. I have to say though, this new place I'm living in right now has pretty good. Uh, it's a really good place to bike. And uh, there's also like a nearby park where my little sisters can, little brothers and sisters can, can go to when they want to. They want to what's it called? They want to play outside. That's a very nice place. Alright, so we just need to freaking sort sort these. With these little stretches here. You Mark scene. You unwrap. Alright, here we go. 
What is this? This doesn't make sense. What is this? There's this little thing right here. Alright, let me just... Alright, there we go. Everything is unwrapped. Oh, right. Alright, time to make the second floor. Apologize, it's gonna take a bit, well, a bit longer. We can't rush perfection, guys. Something that you should uh, be patient to look for. Or else you'll end up with a bunch of garbage. Alright. Just you unwrap these few little bits here. I don't know how long I'll be streaming. Or if I want to just show you guys the apartment complex. Some. Um, I kind of want to show you guys how I animate my film going forward. Uh, but then again, uh, I don't know if that would take a toll in my computer. I mean, yeah, I'm using Grease Pencil, but I have no idea if Grease Pencil would crash my computer. I was using the line art modifier in one of my renders for the last animation and it almost crashed my computer. And it's only when I when I enable the when I enable the simplify option of the EV engine that I was able to render most of my scenes in Blender. Like I don't even use I don't even use the the main option to render the animation anymore. I just select the option to just render the viewport animation because like what I see in Blender is pretty good enough in the viewport. I hope I get a better computer one day. Alright, here we go. Same. How do you guys? What are like your specs for your computer? I do want to know, especially if you are a Blender user for a very long time. I want to know what like what are the best, what are the best PC parts that you can put into your PC to get the to make the best. <laughs> Uh, renders. This mine is even struggling to render stuff in Eevee. Or maybe I just didn't optimize it enough for my computer to render everything. Uh, right. The uh, mark this same. Mark these. Is 
like all of these little things right here little panels of glass and then we can go ahead the U mark seam all right mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Mark scene. Which right. No, speaking of the past. I've been talking a lot about the many houses that I've lived through throughout my life. Might as well talk about um about how recently I've found an old YouTube account I've created back in 2016. So if you guys don't know, I used to have a another second channel. Um, it's not the Morgan Ospin YouTube channel. If you look into my channel list in my main channel, not that. I used to have another channel called the Chocolate Log. You know, cause cause Vanilla Log is is my main channel. Why not make the second one the Chocolate Log? <laughs> I made I made it back in 2016, and I made it back in 2016. Then I. Then I freaking, I freaking got, made, made, posted a bunch of, a few freaking, uh, a few videos there. It's not really that, that impressive, it's just a bunch of old videos I made for assignments at school. Um... But uh, I also used that channel to watch a bunch of videos on YouTube back in 2016. And as I watched, YouTube sort of... Sort of... Uh, sort of recorded my, my freaking... Uh, viewing habits on YouTube. Back in 2016. But then I stopped using it. Because... I can pretty much just view YouTube on my main channel, having to switch accounts every now and then. Then I, I decided to revisit it again. Because, I don't know, it was just sort of... I sort of want to know what's, uh, what's, uh, what's been happening in the chocolate log. To see if there are any any new viewers coming from that that uh, channel, but the thing that most interested me that that interested that that interested me the most about Chocolate Log is is the fact that that YouTube still remembers what I've watched, um, what I've watched I don't know like like uh, eight years ago, 2016. That's, uh, yeah, eight years ago. <laughs> and my god, I, I, I had, like, I had a huge wave of nostalgia when YouTube recommended to me Poppy. <laughs> Do you guys remember Poppy? That's, like, that used to be the back room before the back rooms existed. If you don't know who Poppy is, it is this old internet legend. Uh, that's basically a YouTube channel back in 2016 that that sort of records the life of this strange person named Poppy, who is this who is this girl who always dressed up a little bit funny, but as you watch the videos, you sort of see that he something doesn't seem right about her, like the way she moves, the way she acts, and. It's sort of strange as watching the back rooms now, 
what are some other equivalents to to her in the modern age? Like um, I don't know, like 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 she's like a creepy pasta. And um, every time I watch her, it's sort of it's sort of creepy, you know. Aside from that, a uh, freaking YouTube recommended to me MLG Teletubbies, oh my god. <laughs> Remember when MLG was a thing? It was, uh, it was a long time ago. <laughs> then it also recommended me with Nostalgia Critic. Because I, I, I was subscribed to Nostalgia Critic when way past his prime. I think, yeah, 2016. I, I, I freaking watched Nostalgia Critic. Um, Probably way past his prime, but before it, all the drama started with, with, with uh, with her, with its, with its past employees, and um, there's this also only place the Game Grumps. I mean, I guess the Game Grumps is still a thing today, but not as big as, as big as when they once were in 2014. In the mid 2010s, I remember like the first video I watched from them was it was the what was it? It was the the Sonic the Sonic game. I forgot the is the Sonic game published under I think Xbox or Wii U. It's the uh. It's Sonic, a uh, Sonic Boom, yeah, Sonic Boom. That was <laughs> that's a classic to me, guys. I I don't know if it's the most popular video right now, but that was pretty much my gateway to the world of Game Grumps. After that, I watched their playthrough of the Amazing Larry, again their their Pokemon Ruby playthrough. Uh, I haven't been watching a lot of Let's Plays recently, but it got me interested in watching more animators play games. I don't know what's 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 with me. What's with animators having like the best Let's Play content in my opinion? Like if I if I were to go through my subscriber lists, I'd say like the best the Let's Play channels that I still watch are from. Old new grounds animators like only place. Freaking even like a uh, second pebbles when when they join when he joins only place. <laughs> you know those types of YouTubers. Let me select like some of these stuff right here. And um when I when I watch those old Game Grumps videos, I'm like I, I soon realize that I forgot that I actually enjoy these types of videos. <laughs> um heck I I started watching Only Place again. I didn't watch Game Grumps because I don't know. Something about their content now feels a little bit watered down. Like I think they run out of things to say, but only place is still filling it. Or maybe I'm just a sucker when it comes to their their funny their funny sounds whenever they <laughs> whenever they play a game. Like I watch their Starfield. I watch their Starfield let's play. <laughs> and it's just them like making fun of all the NPCs in uh in Starfield. <laughs> They found like, a, they, they, like they found a person who's basically just a budget fry from Futurama. That was nice. There's some old content that I found in the chat blog. Alt H O I.
Also found a bunch of commentary channels like Pyrocynical. And um then got the other guy, but he's, he was like a Russian YouTuber. Um Yeah, I remembered <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm just, I've, you know, looking back, I, I, I feel like 2016 is a very iconic year for for YouTube. And uh, the reason why it's so iconic is because it's pretty much the pretty much a year marked with a lot of edgy humor, a lot of of jokes that may not pass. This era. All right, I think my sister is about to end his um his class. Hold on. You guys can hear her. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, I hope I didn't dox her. I don't think she's, she's, she said her her full name. That'd be kind of weird, right? If, you're, if, if suddenly a, a live stream would say, "Hey guys, it's me, freaking Jason Manfo Martinez." <laughs> Oops, I for I doxed myself. That would that'll be pretty weird. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh let's uh select all these edges right here. Not sure if I want to texture this, but uh just for safe keeping. I'll just select all of these uh edges. Maybe I can use this UV map. To make sure that all of my noise textures uh, is placed pretty well. Right. But yeah, like 2016 is like a good, very iconic time for YouTube. That was when um, that was when a bunch of commentary channels popped up, like Leafius here, H3H3, H3, Pyrocynical. By the way, guys, I, I don't want you guys to <laughs> to watch my old content because my content back then was pretty fucked up, in my opinion. Um, because it's we're saying bunch of political stuff <laughs> I don't know I don't know what 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 was wrong with me back then but I, I said I, I said I said a lot of uh, very screwed up stuff when I was starting off my YouTube channel and um, I don't know if I want to delete that because I don't know if that means I'm sort of erasing any accountability for my part, but yeah, I've want to apologize to any people who were offended back to my were offended by my old content back in the day. I remember I, I started like a drama with this old YouTuber. It wasn't even that big. And it was all because I, I, and it's all because I. She forgot to shout me out in a YouTube shout out that he's planning. Oh my god, that was that's so cringy of me. I was. Uh, keep in mind, I was I was a uh, pretty much a high schooler at that time. I was I think sixteen. No, fifteen. I was fifteen back in twenty sixteen. So. So I. 
I, I, I just want to apologize to my younger self. That's that's very inappropriate of me to do. Um. Uh, it's just a uh, just, my my content is just pretty much a reflection of what YouTube was back in the day. There were iDubs was a thing. Freaking. GameStar was a thing. Now things changed, like everything is now more sanitized. I, would, I won't say it's a bad thing or a good thing. Just pretty much different. In my opinion, and I think that's 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 good. When it comes to something when some when it comes to something as complicated as as YouTube because um, if you want to keep people entertained you to try something different every now and then you know um, if it wasn't for if it isn't for YouTube trying something different every now and then you won't have people like me you know um, youtubers and Blender creators, people trying something new, like live streamers, like Ludwig. You can YouTube Shorts. That's been popping out recently, but if, even though I think that's a result of TikTok, um, Shorts are pretty much killing it right now, and that's pretty much the reason why my channel blew up in 2022. But uh, right now, I think YouTube is now uh, uh, focused on longer form content, I think. Because uh, if I look back in 2023, my most popular video, uh, surprise surprise, was the VTuber model video. Which, I, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing to me. Because I don't really post that much YouTuber content. I'm a... <laughs> I'm a... I'm a... what's it called? I'm more so a Blender creator than anything. And, uh... My... my and with my, you know... My sudden exploration towards music, I'm... Pretty much not... That, uh, <laughs> that type of person to be recommended next to I don't know, next to Hall Live and Ichi Sanji clips. I'm just built different, you know. <laughs> uh, but hey, if that's the thing that YouTube wants to recommend to others, and it's getting me more traction in my channel. Uh, that's fine with it. Anyway, let's select, select some of these few stuff here. Other channels I found in the travel vlog. Oh my god, I remember. I just remember Grady Underray. Ooh boy, Grady Underray. Special to me. Because I think he's, he's, the, he's the reason why I pretty much started YouTube in the first place. Um, he is the reason why I've created my first quote unquote animated series on YouTube, which is the Vanilla, Vanilla Log series. Throwing that stickman I made. That was. Oh boy. Um, the thing. The Grady Underay was this, uh, let's say a commentary YouTuber, but not really. He's more so a. What's coming from? <laughs> more so like a, a draw my life. 
animator like the odd ones out but before the odd ones out was a thing so um his presentation style is kind of uh, reminiscent of microsoft paint doodles you would create in between classes when you're just hanging out in the computer lab He has a very crude style of, of freaking uh, presenting his videos, but it's very charming and very just adds the comedic value of his videos. And I still remembered his most iconic video in my opinion, which is his barbershop video. That was who are you? <laughs> what is this? Hi, hello. What's up? Um AI animation. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this is the right time to say this. <laughs> you know, your, your username reminds me. I'm getting recommended a lot of stuff on Twitter. Uh, regarding, regarding a bunch of very lucrative shit. Like, like like they 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 want me to to donate some of my art towards stuff like NFTs and an AI art generator. Uh, you know um I'm not okay I'm just gonna say it right now I'm I don't have any I don't want to be affiliated with AI or any NF especially NFTs. Ever, <laughs> um, so if you want, if you're thinking about it. Don't, please don't. Just, uh, I want. Just come back to me when, when, uh, when people, when, um, come back to me when we, when you figure out when AI or NFTs figure out a way to. This. to support artists who are actually making uh, the work behind these AI and NFT um, shit that you guys are making. Um, anyways. Like some of these animals here. Oh, this sucks, All right? Ooh, Maxime. Alright, where's this coming from? Next to this. Oh. Mark Steam. You. So my stretches in my freaking <laughs> model, man. What the heck is this? Oh, okay. Get to all 
Alright, let me just look at these. Okay. You guys just have to listen to. No, I'm gonna listen to my BGM for this one. He put up. Cause uh, for the longest time, I've I've only set this to monitor off in OBS. Hear it? Can't hear it. Oh wait, no, it's in the. B G M. Output. Oh, it's in the... Oh, shoot, that's loud. Okay. <laughs> the sound. No, I recently changed the the my BGM. So this is made by I forgot who made this. Made by this person named Let's look at the audio library of YouTube. Right by density and time, it's called Spring of Deception. So, if you guys want to listen to this on your own, you guys can go watch her or him. What's wrong with this one? BGM too loud guys or is it 
Or is it, or is it the, the spine? Or down if I want to. Want to. This one right here. <laughs> the so messy. Do with this one. On these edges right here, on these little things. Crap, it's this one. To watch um, on the when I was a little kid. Don't watch this. I recently viewed his channel recently, and I think his focus right now is freaking Among Us content. But <laughs> but uh, I didn't subscribe to Sunday for that. I remember. In 2016, he was only he was I think the only person that's keeping the Minecraft community alive in YouTube. I mean, there, there are a few others, but Sunday I, to me was like the most uh, popular one because, at least to me, because uh, he he was a former Team Crafted member before it was disbanded. Um, but I. I you know I'm sort of proud of Dundee for what he's accomplished after Team Crafted disbanded because the rest of the members of Team Crafted uh, don't want to talk about it but it's <laughs> uh, they at worst they fall into relevancy and at worst um, uh, let's just say they did a bunch of very shady shit. But Sunday is the only one to me that sort of stood the test of time and actually made something for himself. For himself. His most iconic era, in my opinion, was when he. That would what I would call the Craner era because this is when he was collabing with other content creators and Craner and making the most uh, enjoyable of Minecraft series. Like um, he he was the one who, yeah. I saw I saw Small Ant do a Skyblock video, and it reminded me of Sunday's old um, Sunday's old video series called Sky Factory. That was like the most entertaining thing to watch every week, in my opinion. I'd always tune into his channel on Saturday and see him craft the most <laughs> the most complicated of structures that only an engineer might only might understand and yeah those are 
very cool times in my opinion. Right now I don't think YouTube would ever get Sunday to do those types of long series again. Because um right now right now uh with the with the focus on short form content I don't think Sunday would ever come back to doing any long video series any anymore. But I hope someone will. Heck, I think it's the reason why we met why why S and P has become a trend in the Minecraft community. For people who want longer form content with much more planned and shit. Anyway, let's uh, let's just fix this one last thing right here. Okay. Mm. I kind of want to start. A Minecraft series if I ever have time. Not because I think that the mic the algorithm would 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 shoot that 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 series to top because heck it's Minecraft. But um no, I actually generally like Minecraft as a game. I mean, it's not, it's not a different to what I'm doing right now, which is creating stuff in Blender. But instead be doing a bunch of redstone contraptions in, in Minecraft world while fighting zombies and shit. Alright, I think everything is pretty much unwrapped here. Next, let's move on to this uh, this rooftop right here. Hmm. Old YouTube was great. I don't. I don't want to be that 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 the type of person that that's like. You know, things are much better in the good old days. Not when you little kids are freaking doing all those TikTok. No, I don't want to be that person. But but the 2016 YouTube was just a vibe, man. And uh, I wish someone could, <laughs> could uh, bring that up for at least maybe about a day, one day. Alright, let me just uh, make sure these cubes are properly unwrapped. Alright, let's select some of these vertices. <sighs> I 
Anyways, let's move on from talking about YouTube because that's too meta, in my opinion. <laughs> um, let's talk about Korean ice cream. No, um, never really noticed it before, but there's there seems to be a lot of Korean grocery stores around the Philippines. Like uh. Like a lot <laughs> more than I would, I would think because you know this is Philippines, and I would think that um, there would be less of it because it's this is not Korea, this is Philippines. But yeah, it turns out there's a lot of Korean grocery stores scattered around the country, around the south southeast Asian country. Heck, there's uh, even when I was trouble uh, was traveling at a very remote region of the Philippines, a very rural region of the Philippines. Uh, last week, I was camping with my with my siblings. I even found a, a a a Korean grocery mart while while traveling to our freaking camping site. Very surreal. Um, but I don't really have any complaints about that. Because if there's one thing the Koreans have 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 it right, it's their freaking ice cream, man. My God, like their ice creams. I don't know what's what what, what they put in their ice creams to make it make it look so good. But but they're just. Their ice cream level, their ice cream game is in a completely different level. I tried their. I mean, like comparing it to you know Filipino ice cream, and the ice cream that you would see at a you know at a local fast food, like McDonald's or Jollibee. Like they're they're cheap. They're, they're very cheap, uh, their commercial ice cream that they make, kind of at least on par with, um, with whatever McDonald's is making, even, maybe even like better, actually. There's seeing. Cause uh, the Koreans, qual the Korean quality is just just that good, man. I once tried the, um, or some ice cream I tried from them. You can never really name name one ice cream I tried from them because it's it's uh it's it's written in you know in in Korean characters. But I remember trying this uh this, this cone. From them, and, th and th this uh, this ice cream cone from them, and this and this cone is is pretty much very look looks very high quality. Like it, it's made using very crunchy wafer, and the ice cream is is very thick. It's not as slush as sloshy as I don't know like like Selecta ice cream. It's very flavorful. When you bite into it, there's Inside, there's like this goo, this chocolate goo that you can kind of view when you uh, bite into one of their cones. Ah. Although, um, I have to say, there's this one time when I brought one ice cream from them. At this point, I, I knew that whatever I brought from the Korean grocery, whatever ice cream I brought from the Korean grocery is pretty much A tier for me, A tier or S tier. So I, I just got one ice cream randomly from their freezer, and uh, I didn't really I didn't really observe the the packaging that closely. I just sort of brought it. I, I sort of. Uh, so I just sort of brought whatever my hand reached out in into their freezer.
And uh, I remember like opening the the packaging of this ice cream I brought, and I kid you not, this ice cream was this this ice cream was was put inside a condom. Like I, I kid you not, like the ice cream. But when I, when I when I saw the, <laughs> I looked closely at when when I opened the packaging. It was this the, the ice cream was sort of shaped like a I don't know like a bull, like a worm. I was like, oh, that's a strange looking worm. And uh, <laughs> and uh, I looked closely and I'm like, oh wait, is that a, is that a condom? I, I think it's a condom. Like, I mean, I never really seen a condom uh, in real life, but it, <laughs> it does look like a condom. And uh, the only thing that's uh, keeping this ice cream from spilling out of the condom was this, was this, was this brutal, it was this brutalist looking uh, uh, metal clip that sort of shuts the, the, the opening from the opening of the condom. <laughs> and I was like, what the, what the fuck is going on with this, with this ice cream, man? And I, and I tried to get the ice cream out of it, but the, the freaking condom is just so tight that uh that um that, that, that it's refusing to let the ice cream spill out. So we really had to freaking suck it into, you know, <laughs> like uh, some kind of JoJo fan. Like, <laughs> I mean, I'm not gay, but it's <laughs> you know, it's kind of hard it's trying to. S I'm I'm really sucking that uh that ice cream. All the way in, you know. It's a, <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's, it's pretty funny now looking back at it. And uh, it's only when I decided to get the scissors from the kitchen that I finally decided, finally was able to get the ice cream inside. When I tasted the ice cream, it was more so a snow cone like consistency inside it. Uh. It didn't taste like any other ice cream I've tried before. It felt more like ice candy to me. Chocolate ice candy. Wrapped into a condom. And uh, from then on, I... Uh, I then started to realize, you know, maybe we should... Maybe, there's no such thing as perfection. <laughs> there's no such thing as perfection. This ice cream pretty much ruined my... The, the godlike... Uh, quality that green ice cream has built inside my mind. <laughs> I hope you, no one would, <laughs> would ever, uh, would ever, uh, find themselves in that sort of situation. Unless, unless you're into it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are into it. Uh, I mean, um, if sucking is your thing, I don't, I don't judge. I don't judge at all. <laughs> Oh, where's this coming from? Oh, this one. All right. Uh, I can deal with this. <laughs> Ugh. All right. H. Okay, I'll, I'll just call that a good unwrap. Yeah, I know there's some stretches, but I don't really think I do care about it that much. Alright, face orientation so far. Pretty good, pretty good. 
Let's put some freaking materials into this thing. So, uh, first off, I need to select all of these. Like all of these freaking. Uh, windows. I want them to be made using a special kind of material. Like so, oh. Pop, 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 into here. Real preview. Uh, let's use this. We use the same materials I use for creating all of these textures. I'm going to darken it up a bit. All right. So that's the main window material. Next is to create the uh, create the pillar material. Let's use uh, basic cartoon shader. I'm going to increase the saturation. Let me switch this to shading. I'm going to have to change the uh, settings here. A vector, a vector, not a vector, a mapping, mapping node, oh, not a map range, mapping node. And I'm going to have this be linked to here, and I'm going to call this. 
mapping. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. I call this the pillar material. What the crap is this? Alright. Uh, Alright. Create AC two and two one. Okay. Ah, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna select all. Select all these windows. Hmm. 
Uh, I'm gonna be using a lot of grace here, so be a little bit patient, guys. Mm-hmm. Oh God, my freaking wrist. Be sure to take breaks, guys, or else you'll be ending up with carpal syndrome in your wrist. Hmm. All right. Fine. All right. Now getting to the interesting bit, guys, wherein we are. Texturing everything here. This apartment. Fine. Alright. Here we go. So, uh. Got everything textured here. Uh, black material. No. Alright, let's just get a. How about a little bit of a mission node here? Be made using uh, give me a good place. Right.
pour L. Curiosity. Ah, ok. All right. Great texture. That.
You know what this is about? It's like watching this. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I guess, <laughs> I guess we're having fun, I guess. Like me, I have pretty much spent the majority of all this live stream freaking UV unwrapping everything. Um, enjoy. Okay, next thing we need to make is a bunch of make a bunch of uh, image textures. I come to realize that I should probably, um, after creating an image texture, it is best to unwrap it once more. Because um, when you're unwrapping it uh, without the image texture, it is unwrapping it based off of a square-ish texture. But with, um, if you use a regular if you if you're using a rectangular image texture your UV uh, UV map gets a little bit fucked up so it is best to probably make a a copy of it make to UV unwrap it once more Do a simple doodle here. All I need to do is oh fuck, I need to append some. Hold on, I need to append some stuff. Uh import assets. Uh, import the craft reapers texture brushes. Up 
understand. All right. Should give me a bunch of stuff here. Nice. Probably should have painted the uh, thing before, painted the shadows of extra. Okay, let's just use the flat brush. Alright, I guess it's time to add some hue, saturation nodes.
Oke. Let's try a bunch of stuff here. Let's add one more note here. Texture. I don't need a separate XYZ. Okay. 
a subtract back note. And a hologram. All this ambient depth. The, uh, here, color ramp. And I'll mix color. And uh, get the group input. Put up a call this one ambient color. Uh, just like that. Here. Here. I have to do this for every
Okay. This is just great. I don't want some ambient occlusion. Nah, this isn't doing anything. Probably also make a bar sorry. outside of a bar. Oh, there's a lot of things to do before I start animating this project.
Alright. The things before we end. Okay. Yo, I think I've already created a part from those. Alright. So anyways guys, I'm pretty much done making the apartment uh building of this little main character that I'll be making for the animation. If you guys like what you see, be sure to like and subscribe. We're going to be um resting right now because it's already pretty late in my time. If you like what you see, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next live stream, wherein I'll be making the outside of the bar we made a couple of live streams ago. That'll be pretty fun. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next live stream. Bye bye. Now, go read a book. <laughs>